with 75% of this hall very very quickly indeed he's very popular very good and uh, Alan Hughes is going to announce some celebrities ringside I hope he doesn't mention me well, ladies and gentlemen before before the next event before the next event ladies and gentlemen one or three people around ringside I know you'd like to meet first of all we have with us this evening the southern area light heavyweight champion the WBO Fender Continental light heavyweight champion and the reigning Commonwealth light heavyweight champion Gary Delaney stand up Gary I know you're here he's over there give him a hand also, ladies and gentlemen, we have with us this evening the reigning British flyweight champion working for a living, Francis and Popo. Stand up, Francis, and take a bow. There he is. Also, ladies and gentlemen, we have with us this evening one of the most respected referees Britain has ever produced. Harry Gibbs, OBE, is with us this evening. Harry, stand up, take a bow. Thank you very much indeed. Also, ladies and gentlemen, a great boxer, a great man in and out of the ring, well respected by everybody, the former WBA featherweight champion of the world, Barry McGuigan, is going to say hi, right, Barry, thank you. And the man gets in with the boxer to be in the ring, thank you. Well, you can see it's packed here. This is the biggest crowd we've had for Pro Box Golden Gloves. They're beginning to start now the charge for Georgie Smith. This is a sensational young prospect, certainly the most famous fighter to come out of Basildon since Terry Mars, that's for certain, and a devastating puncher. Let's look at some of the early action from just some of the four fights, only four fights he's had so far in his professional career. at ringside now two of the most interested people in the whole place who are not yet cheering because they have a very special reason to cheer of course it's george smith's father and mother george and june ladies first of course how nervous do you get looking at your boy fighting very, very nervous is very this nervous. the first time you've seen him as a pro or have you been at all no, the fights every fight every oh, fight yes i won't miss one. Oh dear oh dear now george yourself i mean i know you're a whole fight fan from a long time ago you must be pleased with the way your boy's career is going so far. Very, very pleased. Very, very pleased. Very, yeah, it's great. Couldn't be, couldn't be better. And you know, the support he gets is fantastic, isn't it? Incredible. Absolutely incredible. I mean, it's, it's a delight to me, you know, because Arthur Basil here tonight to support him, and I think it's, it's absolutely brilliant. Magic. Well, Magic. George, step back, because now we're going to touch over our camera in the dressing room just to capture George before he makes his entrance. Well... This is his uh, fifth professional fight. I wasn't sure whether it was his fourth or his fifth. I'm now assured it's his fifth professional fight. Very fresh and very cool and composed and knows what he's looking to do tonight. He said he hasn't watched this guy, Shabba Edwards. I'm, I'm sure he's heard plenty about him. He's warming up. Alex Gower just taking him on the, on the pads. They're just making him re reach and stretch. And I'm sure he's done lots of stretching and getting those bodies supple. And uh, just having a wee check in the mirror, just making sure he looks the part. And uh, we'll go to our MC, Alan Hughes. Ladies and gentlemen, will you now welcome into the ring one of the great prospects of the lad world of weight division from Basildon, Georgie Smith.
October 6th, three minute round. Introducing in the red corner with those all black shorts from Clapham in London, Shabbar Edwards. And ladies and gentlemen, his opponents in the blue corner with the white and the gold shorts. Undefeated, three wins, three conquests, two inside the distance from Basildon, Gochi Smith. <laughs> By the way, today, Edward Scale, 10 stone 4, and Smith, 10 stone 1. Your referee is Dave Paris, and your timekeeper, Danny Peacock, six three minute round. If one of you goes down, I would hope the furniture is to Break what I tell you to and defend yourself at all times. Take down for us. Good luck. Oh, here's the one that everybody's come to see. Georgie Smith and the, those uh, white shorts with the gold band and uh, that uh, diagonal stripes across them. And he's fighting Shabba Edwards here in the black shorts. Shabba Edwards looks very strong, very muscular. Hasn't got a good professional career has only got uh, one win in the six fights he's had but he looks very strong he looks very determined and he wants to upset the apple cart here so george is picking all his shots now this george is every promoter's dream george is every promoter's dream in fact i think Barahan's going to get married to him tomorrow selling all these tickets well yes he's only had as i say three professional fights this is his fourth one and and already he's packing the halls out, so if he gets better, this guy, God knows what he, he can do. He can, uh, he can really drag the crowds in. He's got to be careful against Shab Edwards. If nothing else, Shab is very strong, and uh, he's got a, a decent style. He keeps, the, keeps the, the upper body sort of moving and keeps the head, try to keep, tries to keep the head moving as well. He's, he's a dangerous and heavy looking puncher. George has given three three pounds to him here, and every pound makes a makes a difference when you're in there, especially when you get nailed with a solid punch. Got to be careful against this guy. That's a very, uh, he is circling Georgie onto that right hand. That's a very good right hand from George, George there. It wobbles Shaba. And Edwards just landing with the right hand, with uh, Georgie settling down now, beginning to take the centre of the ring and snap on that jab but he's got to be careful edwards is a strong kid he's got a good solid right hand just got to be careful and he's got to keep the fight at bay he's got to keep the fight at long range use that solid jab just keep it popping out and, and stay out of harm, harm's way for the first couple of rounds and then shab edwards will be sure to slow down and he started to pick him off and bring his combinations in but he's got to use that long jab he's got but uh, he's, impressive. he's an impressive finisher, Georgie Smith, and he wants to impress his home crowd here. Got to be careful not to be drawn into a fisty cuff just at the moment. I mean, Shabba's walking straight onto George's punches now. C jumping and coming forward, and George throwing tremendous left hooks as he comes on. Georgie just using those quick fire shots at the moment. And that's what he's got to continue to do. Just pop out the left, pop over the right hand, and not trade with Edwards because Edwards is strong at this stage. Good left hook from, from Georgie Smith. Good left hook, right hand. Good, good shot, good combination. Landed particularly well with the right hand. Last 10 seconds of the round, and a good opening round for Georgie Smith. Here's the hometown hero, handsome looking fella, got his mommy's blue, blue eyes and uh, that uh, incredible hairstyle, I don't know what, or how long it must take him to plait his hair, but it's certainly isn't, it's not done in five minutes. But a good opening run from him, Alex Gower just telling him, settle down son and watch some of this good work here. He reached with the left hook there, popped the right hand over, didn't really land with any great quality at, at that stage but did land a couple of solid punches throughout the round and just felt comfortable and Shabba Edwards looked tired as he went back to the to the corner Shabba Edwards six professional fights and only one win but he's a tough guy 
is very tough. Right? Second He's down, tough. round two. Round two. Georgie Smith with the white and gold shorts. Shabba Edwards with the black shorts. I felt that Smith opened the first round very well. Was inclined to get drawn in a few times, but boxed well and won that first round with just nice snappy punches. And trying to load over that left hook. It would work much better if he got that jab working. He's got the reach. All he's got to do is pop the jab out against Edwards. Right, I can see what's happening there. Jo George is setting himself up with a left, left jab. Just come over the right hand. There we go. He's got to be careful because Edwards still has power and uh, he's still going to be dangerous with that right hand, particularly the right hand. And the, oh, beautiful right hand. Absolutely cocker of a punch. Perfect. And Shabba Edwards is solid, solid right hand, took it right on his chin. And uh, Ricky Davis, Dave Paris, counted him out. But no, no need for that at all. He was no. totally and utterly sparked with that first right hand. Cracking right hand. And I hope this kid's okay. We don't have an Anita this year tonight, which is uh, unfortunate, but the Border Control haven't made that a compulsory rule as yet. But what a finish. What a right hand. And uh, this crowd are absolutely ecstatic. Shabba Edwards is still on the floor here. The referee taking a look at him very carefully. Watch his right hand. And he steps back, gets himself a bit of room, Smith, and turns that elbow down. Bang! right on the whiskers and uh Shab edwards was out cold before he hit the floor fell on his face and let's have another look at it here from a different angle francis oh um all a tremendous right hand he caught him bang on the chin and when he's actually hit the floor there was nothing there yeah he's talking back i can see Chapa Edwards talking back to the doctor, so he's just keeping him on the floor as a precautionary measure. But uh, he's blowing him down because it's very hot in this arena. This is packed, as I said. But uh, yeah, but yeah. I think he's all right now. He's okay. They're going to get okay. him up and put him in the corner, put him on the stool. He's still very badly shaken. What a right hand he's got, and he walked onto it and doubled the effect of that punch. There we see. We see. Um, George going over to see him. George is a very, very nice bloke. George is coming over now, but just listen to referee MC Allen Hughes. A count of ten in a one minute and five seconds of round two. The winner by a count of Georgie Smith. Not the new Terry Mash. It's still great excitement for this one. Ladies and gentlemen, one. a fine round of applause, please, for Shabba Edwards. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, no doubt about the winner, four out of four now, for Georgie Smith from Basildon. <laughs> well, let's have a look at this punch again right at the end of this round, forces himself back into the corner, and Smith reasserts himself, takes a step back, bang, that right hand lander right on, on Edwards' chin as he came forward and doubled the effects of it. We'll see it from a different angle here again. Edwards comes forward, Smith steps back, sets himself up, turns that right hand over, and he hit Edwards right on the button. Tremendous finish to the fight. We're gonna go we're going to go to Barry Hearn now, who's got Georgie Smith's mom and dad, and there's some, a couple of excited uh, people around Ladies ringside, and we're going to have a chat with George, who's sitting there with his mom and dad as well. <laughs> well, listen, that was chaotic. It's chaos here. I've got Georgie Smith with me, and, uh, well, to describe him as happy would be an understatement, but George... <laughs> That was that was a right hand punch to savour. Yeah, I was. Uh, I mean, this is the best like, atmosphere I've ever had in my life. So obviously I was a bit nervous, but uh, 
Once I relax, Alex said to me, relax after the first round. And you can see I've done a business. I hope he's all right, Shabber Edwards. I wish him all the best. Well, I think Shabber is OK. He's back and talking. And the wonderful thing these days about the British Boxing Board of Control, the doctors, everyone here, since obviously boxing is a dangerous sport, they're on the case, the paramedics, everyone, and I think that's everyone in boxing should be pleased that we've got these systems in place. But I do. That was yeah, a devastating was shot. Yeah, as I said, I was, once I was relaxed, I knew I was catching with it. And Have a look at it again, George. Talk us through. There's a left hook. See, I was not, like, you watch my show, I was nice relaxed here. It goes boom. Oh! Good night, Shabba. That's a good punch. That's the white and it, Alex. Look at that. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. Oh. Well, George, I know as an amateur you knocked out. I think I think you stopped Scrap Iron That's Ryan, who's one of the top yeah. light welterweights. No. After only four fights, you're uh, you're really knocking on the door. Perhaps a bit too early. I think we're going to yeah. have to hold you back a bit, aren't I'll we? I'll be there. I'll be there within a year, definitely, Barry. Um, each step has at that time. I'm like slowly progressing. I've got relaxed, as you can see. I've got relaxed a lot more, but I definitely see myself winning a British title. Talk, talk about this crowd because I mean it's fantastic. Yeah. Isn't it? They talk for themselves. They talk for themselves. Oh, oh, well, then, well, because there was one person who was even more nervous with you. It was June. And June, uh, to be honest, Mum, I could hear you, and I really couldn't hear much else when you were screaming. <laughs> I mean, do you always get that excited? Yes, I do. Yeah, I'm a fortunate lady. There. <laughs> Mind you, it was worth it, wasn't it? <laughs> well, oh, listen, he kisses his mum as well. I hope you don't kiss his dad. But <laughs> <laughs> you've got to be pleased with that as well, yeah. Oh, very, very pleased. I mean. As I say, when he relaxes, he, look, he looks so much better. I mean, he relaxed in the second round, and that right hand, I mean, you've got to be pleased with a right hand like that. That was an absolute copybook right hand. I mean, there's a lot of top quality pros can't throw a shot as good as that. Well, he looked a strong opponent, didn't he? But I mean, he come out, I mean, I, I, mean, I thought, oh, we've got something here. I mean, he looked, he looked a good, capable boxer, didn't he? I mean, first round. Well, he was a capable boxer. Of course, he came in about three or four pound heavier yeah. as well. And to be it with a with a shot like that, I mean, I don't, I don't think many people would have stood up to that right hand. I mean, it's a great right hand. I don't think anybody would have stood up to a right hand like that. But we said at the early part of the show that you, you know, without doubt, since Terry Marsh in Basildon, you're the biggest name from Essex that's come through. So you're drawing full houses now. In fact, I think the fire officer described it as over full. <laughs> so I'll probably be in trouble on you know, tomorrow morning. But this has got to be your base, hasn't it? Yeah, I hope so. Yeah, I mean, it's nice and local for everybody. That's why they'll come. Uh, hopefully, like, as you said, the Brentwood Centre holds a few more people. That's nice and like, hopefully they will come again. So maybe we have to look for a bigger all-bell. <laughs> well, listen, I think we'll... we'll you're, you're, you're what you're calling the trade is a promoter's dream. Yeah, right. But we'll let the celebrations go on. I should have to negotiate your next purse. It's gonna be a, I can see it's going to be a long, hard struggle. <laughs> in the meantime, we're going to catch up with some earlier action when Bobby Guinan was in action. In a very tough fight, you have to say, the golden boy from East Ham in action now.